How's it going everybody? Uh, I'm going to be doing a different style video today. Um, just got my new keyboard in and I'm uh, going to be unboxing it today. But by the time I upload this, we should be, hopefully, at a thousand subscribers. So I just want to thank everybody for all the support and helping me get here. Um, but let's get this open. I already took the tape off. Took the tape off so that it would be easier for me to do it with one hand. Open this up real quick. And there she is. Ducky 1 2 Mini. Take this order slip. Get it out of there. Take this box. Throw it down on the floor. Get it out of the room. And here it is. Nice clean box. You can tell already the box itself is the size of my keyboard now. So that's good. Uh, just two little quick flips of these, and there it is, open, and here we go, bam, nice and clean, we'll pull the actual keyboard out real quick, and we will um, sit this over here to the side, and we will get everything else out of the box, this is just a booklet on telling you how to get it, this right here is just a, you can, I believe you send this back, yeah, we won't be doing that. Uh, for, for your warranty, I believe, um, we'll set those over there, and here's where the good stuff gets. Back and clean up. So, I'll pull these out, I'm going to sit right here, so this is your USB uh, port cable, plug it in, so it runs, and this is what I'm excited about. So this is the to take off the keys right here. Uh, then we got it came with a space bar. I'll take that out of the package in a second. And it brings with random keycaps. Now these are the red keycaps, and I'm excited because obviously you can see from the rest of my setup, I uh, I like red, um, red and lime green there. So we get it came with a black backspace key which, because I'd say on the keyboard, because it already has the red one on it. But let's move this stuff out of the way and show the actual keyboard. So here's your dust cover. It's inside this baggie. Shake it out. Put this down here. There it is, nice and compact. I'll compare it to the size of my keyboard I have now. My Razer uh, Blackwood, my Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition, the uh, v Chroma V2. Um, as you can tell by the size, here we'll move this one down. Have it plugged in right now. Um, we'll just unplug it. Okay. Uh, big difference. As you can see, we'll line it up with the edge there. Big difference. Uh, cuts off this whole section here. But they, if you can see on the I don't know if you can tell. Here, I'll hold it up closer to the light. On the backs of the keys, on the bottoms of them, you have your F keys, and that's where like all your arrows and all the all the function keys that are on the top row here, and these all these keys and the arrow keys, they're all on the bottoms of these. So you press your function key, and you can access all of them. Um, but when you have, when you use these keycaps that come with them they don't have the function keys with it on the bottoms of them so you just have to remember them so you always want to keep these handy I'll probably be using these for a while I got the um, Cherry MX Reds Red keys um, just I, I like them nice key, com key ones uh, the brown keys are very efficient and silent as well um, but I have as you can tell on my Razer keyboard, I use the uh, yellow switches, the Razer yellow switches, um, and they're about the same. Uh, like, they produce the same noise as each other, just about. Uh, so, plug this back in real quick. Side so back up here. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll uh, cut to the next part. Uh, I'll have everything plugged in. I'll try placing these new keycaps on, and yeah. 
All right, so we're back. I got the keyboard plugged in. I don't have it plugged into my laptop yet. Um, I will in a second. I turned off the other light, so you'll be able to see the uh, RGB lighting effects easier. But I just wanted to show you the keycaps. Uh, this is the, obviously, it's nice. has the Ducky logo um, to take off your keys, make it easy, very easier for you, or very much easier, sorry. Um, but it comes with a enter key. Sorry, this I said a backspace key before. Uh, this is the enter key because the they, they already put the red one on it. Usually they replace the enter key. I've seen most, I think every unboxing I've seen of these keyboards, they've always had replaced the enter key. And most of the time it is the red. So this is a very common one to uh, ship. Um, I'm very happy I got it. But you got the enter key. This is the backspace key to replace. Uh, this is a return key, I believe. And I don't know why it would be on here because if you can tell... There's no return. You can't see them very well. It's kind of dark now. Um, but there's no return key. This is the, uh, I believe it is the Year of the Wolf. They do like a year thing. That's the Year of the Wolf um, for the space bar. So that is very cool. The one they have on now has the signature ducky uh, on it with the logo. But this one is very cool. So I will be putting that on. And then this is the logo here. Um, I this is for the escape key right here. Sorry. Was blocking it. This is to replace the escape key because you can. They are the same height, and I'll probably be putting that on because I do know where the escape key is. But I probably won't be putting the arrow keys on because they are uh, up arrows I and then JKL or the left down and right arrow keys. So they'll be a lot harder to find. Um, but we'll just move these, slide these all over here, slide all this, and plug this into my laptop here. There it goes. Flickered. And there it is. Nice RGB lighting effect. The um, rainbow wave. Um, like the Razer's stock is. Just rip or uh, wave across. Um, you, you can change the different lighting effects. I'll download the software. I'll cut to it again. And uh, I'll download the software real quick. Go in and show you some of the different lighting effects. And I'll also put some of these keycaps on that I have. And yep. See you there. Alright well. I replaced the keycaps, the backspace key, replaced it to the red, the escape key, I replaced it to the ducky logo, and then I changed the space bar. As you can see, the RGB lighting shows through it, which is clean. You can now see all the function keys on the bottom pretty good. And that's, that's the keyboard. I was going to show you the different RGB lighting effects, but as you can see, I downloaded the software. And it just says plug your device in, and it's not doing anything. If I unplug it here, you can see unplugged it, plugging it back in. Lights flash, and nothing works. So I'll try and figure that out later sometime today. But yeah, as you can see, here it is, new keyboard, very nice and small. Oh, I one thing I didn't show you was the on the back there's different levels obviously you can lay it flat and you can do a barely raised I don't know if you can tell the difference here barely raised and then you can do sorry the camera's all over the place but then you can raise it all the way up to where your, your fingers are raised pretty high um, I'm a fan of this because I like the first raised position, the lower one. Um, I don't like it too high. Um, so I'll definitely be using that. Mostly I'll have it flat while I'm playing. Uh, just because it's easier. I play with an angled as well if you're wondering what position I play in. It's about like this. And then obviously I, have, I, want, I like this keyboard because now all this room over here. Sorry, move this out of the way. All this room over here is all mouse room now. I have all of this just for the mouse. Before, if you use it, my keyboard stuck out to about here. So then I would only have this much room and I can extend all the way across now. And if I move my laptop over, which it is further over than what it usually sits, this keyboard will sit a lot farther over. And especially with it being angled, have a ton of room for my mouse. Um, so, sorry. Uh, well, 
that's going to be it for the video. Uh, like I said at the beginning, hope by this time I upload this, we should be at a thousand subscribers. So I just, if not, let's keep the train going and keep going. If we are, thank you for everyone who supported me along the way and has subbed. Um, let's grind for 2K, you know. Uh, let's keep growing, keep growing. Share the channel. Let me know. Show your support. Comment on the videos. Like and everything. Uh, and that's going to be all. Have a good day, everybody, and peace out.